Hello, I am Marion. This is Book Sell It. Oh, book, book Sell It. We need more light in here. How am I so dark? Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, Prometheus is going to go get his um, Frankenstein light bulb. I think he's taking a picture of it. I'll have to include it. Hi, Prometheus here, who just wanted to show some of the awesome lighting that was done in this. Made with only the finest pieces of leftover ceiling fan. In fact, I think, yeah, if you look right there, that's the part right there. I didn't even realize that. Yeah. Made with the finest pieces of ceiling fan, attached to a most secure door hinge and magnet, which I don't even know where I got, and made with the expert wiring of Prometheum Industries, which, uh, uh, well, I think this used to be, uh, what was it? An iron. Yeah, that's what it was. It was an iron. And, uh, yeah. Totally works. That's all. Just wanted. This is the vote for June Band Book Read Along. Last month was A Wrinkle in Time, and March was Invisible Man. So the selection for June some doozies. Lord of the Flies by William Golding. I think there have been some recent booktubers that have read this and said it was extremely disturbing. Now here are the things that are wrong with it that I've looked up. Apparently it includes cussing, sex, defamatory comments regarding women, God, and minorities, and the disabled. Okay, so, you know, I guess Golding didn't want to leave anybody out. I don't know. Ooh, too bright. Too bright. I guess that's good. I don't know what you're going to hook it up onto. Uh, so, this was apparently published in 1954. And critics use such phrases as beautifully written, tragic, and provocative, vivid, and enthralling. And I guess it's that provocative that people have a problem with. I don't know if the lighting is any better, but woof, blinding. The future's so bright, I've got to wear shades. Um, anyways, I think everybody pretty much knows what this is about. The boys end up on an island. I think all the boys are in a boarding school. I think they're British, and they end up on an island and destroy each other. Um, so, the... The title is disturbing in and of itself, but this is the first first book. This one, Franny and Zoe by J.D. Salinger. I could not find why this was on the list. I couldn't find it because it's on the list, but then when I tried to search it independently, it kept bringing up Catcher in the Rye. Anyway, so this is the other one. I believe this is the continuation. This one is about the brother and the sister who has a breakdown. But I don't know why she has the breakdown. And then the last one is The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. And this... I don't have why this one is on either. I thought I had notes in here, and no, there, there aren't any. Um, it was, so this one is about a woman who has <clears throat> a child while her husband is away, and the town put, makes her wear a scarlet A for adultery because she was married and it's quite obvious it isn't her husband's and the ending is kind of creepy <laughs> but um it's fascinating to find out who is actually the father of her child and so i don't know if it was banned because of the adultery but there's nothing there's, there aren't any explicit details in the book, 
So anyway, so these are the three options. So please vote for which book you want to read for the month of June. And thank you for participating.